Good evening, everybody. How are y'all doing today? I am doing so fine. I am in this kitchen getting ready to make a nice veggie bagel sandwich. I have an everything bagel here, which I have already toasted. Oh, I absolutely adore everything bagels. I even have the everything seasoning over here in the pantry. Oh my goodness, y'all. I'm in this house with a sweater on, okay? I think we're on the second or third day of fall, and it has really been a chilly day. It's been a very nice day, though. I am not complaining about the chilly weather because I love, love, love chilly weather. I will take chilly over hot any day. It was just a nice day to just to get outside and just be out there, you know? I got out earlier and went to the car wash, you know, got my, my truck washed, and the guys did an outstanding job. And then, of course, oh, maybe about an hour after I got my truck washed, it rained. Now, we haven't had rain all week long, but it rained. I was out and about. I didn't have an umbrella, so I was running around outside trying to cover my head because I didn't want my hair to get wet, you know. Anyways, I decided not to use my windshield wipers while I was driving. I mean, I could still see, but I thought, hmm, I wonder if I just leave them off if my windshield will dry without, you know, a bunch of water stains. And sure enough, it did. It dried just fine. Uh, truck still looks amazing. Amazing. I love, love, love pickup trucks. This is my second one that I've had for about three years now. My first one I had, oh, how long did I have that pickup truck? I think I had it for about 14 years. And um, I drove it until literally it fell apart on the road. <laughs> I tell you, just driving on the East Coast did a number on my truck because there was a lot of rust on the bottom of my truck because of all of the salt that you know was used to get rid of some of the ice de-ice the roads in the winter time i tell you that salt will do a number it'll do a number on your vehicles it'll do a number on your um your sidewalk wherever you put it but you know it works it gets rid of the ice melts the ice um, but anyway, so it was a really nice day, nice, and it started out really chilly, then it got up to about, I don't know, I don't know, 80 maybe, I think, not that hot, and then now it's coming back down again, and I totally love it. Y'all, check this out. So, like I said, I'm having a veggie bagel, right? Now, the first time I ever had a veggie bagel was... Um, oh, it was many decades ago. I got it from Panera Bread. I thought it was the best thing in the world. But, you know, who wants to pay seven, eight dollars for a veggie bagel when you can make one at home? So I did go to Panera, Panera Bread to get my bagels, though. I usually buy like about eight of them and I freeze them. I get the sesame bagels. And I get the everything bagels. And I also like the cinnamon crunch bagels and the plain bagels. So for this particular bagel, we're going to go in with some, I usually use plain cream cheese, but I'm going to use garden vegetable cream cheese today. I went to, to Lowe's grocery store. I love that grocery store. I don't go there that often because it's pricey. But you know what? It's not as pricey as Harris Teeter. I thought it was, but it isn't. So I'm trying their uh, cream cheese today. Hopefully, hopefully I'll like it, you know. Hopefully it'll be good. I, I try to get, you know, I don't mind buying store brand cream cheese. It tastes just as good as Philadelphia cream cheese. But I do like a lot of cream cheese <laughs> on mine. So I'm just going to be liberal with the cream cheese on both sides of the bread and of course I toasted it first with a little bit of butter it's something about eating a toasty toasted bagel 
you know, before you put the cream cheese on there. So good. Oh, y'all excuse my sniffles. I'm still getting over a cold that I had. It's going on two weeks now, but that's all it is. It's just a cold. I, I'm just about over it. Um, but you know how colds are. They normally last about 10 days anyway. But I tell you, I will be glad when it is 100% gone. Okay, I have some, let me put the top on this. I have some beautiful tomato slices here that I'm going to, I'll tell you what, I'll put it on the fatter slice right there. I love, love, love tomatoes. I can eat a whole tomato in a salad, a whole tomato on a sandwich. I just love tomatoes. And today I'm gonna to go in with some green bell pepper. Um, I, my favorite bell pepper is the red bell pepper because it's sweeter, but you know, I didn't have one. I, I like green bell peppers too, so this is just fine. So I have some nice bell pepper slices on there. We're gonna go in with some cucumber slices. Ah, oh, yummy, yummy, yummy. So, so, so good. This is a true uh, vegetarian veggie bagel sandwich, and it's absolutely fantastic. It's very hearty, very good for you, and I absolutely love it. And I have, I don't usually put carrots on my veggie bagels, but I have, I had a bag of shredded carrots. So I'm only gonna put a very few because you don't really eat carrot sandwiches, right? I'm just, I'm just, it, it looks more like garnish than anything else, but I'm gonna put a few uh, of these pieces of shredded carrots on here just because I have the carrots, okay? And today I usually use alfalfa sprouts but I haven't been able to find alfalfa sprouts in a while. So my second go-to is broccoli sprouts. Couldn't find broccoli sprouts. So today I'm trying clover sprouts, okay? They all look the same. And this is good to know. It says tested for E. coli, salmonella, and listeria for your health. But then it also says, please wash before, um, eating so i did i washed it very well and it's just a very beautiful grassy looking sprout look at that i love that sprouts are really good on sandwiches especially if you're eating like an italian sandwich and you put some of that vinaigrette on there and it just it just soaks into the sprouts it's so good so for additional flavor i have some green olives that i have chopped up just to put a little saltiness uh, on this. And I think that's gonna be fantastic. And now, okay, so I said I was making a vegetarian sandwich, right? Well, I was looking in the freezer a minute ago. Um, I was throwing out some old food that I had in my refrigerator. So I went down into the freezer and lo and behold, y'all, I found a few slices of sweet, not sweet, but well, I guess it's sweet, it's honey ham. Three little slices, y'all. So yes, I'm gonna go on here with a few slices of this honey ham. It was still good, because I froze it. I think what I did was I went to the deli, I bought a little pack of honey ham. I don't eat a lot of ham at one time. I, I just don't think that's good for you. So I ate a few slices put the rest of it in the freezer, and lo and behold, boom, here it is. So, I have some ham on here, and I'm gonna go in with some of these beautiful bean sprouts. That looks amazing, okay? Let me put my veggies back on my chopping board here. Move that out of the way, okay? Move this out of the way, and check this out gonna go in with some black pepper. I need to buy some more black pepper in the can. I'm out of it. But I have some here that works just fine. And we are going to put the lid on it here. Oh my goodness. Y'all look at how wonderful. Let me turn that over. Look at how amazing this sandwich looks. Doesn't that just look Amazing. 
<laughs> it's going to taste amazing also. So in addition to this beautiful veggie bagel sandwich, well, it's not, it's, it started out as a, as a veggie bagel sandwich, but in addition to this bagel sandwich here, I'm going to have some broccoli with cheddar cheese. What I really wanted was a nice um, clam chowder, some type of seafood um, soup to have with my veggie bagel sandwich. But I'm out of the soup. I thought I had some, but I actually don't. So let's shake this up a little bit here. And we're gonna have a nice, easy, quick dinner that's going to be so delicious. I've had this a gazillion times, so I already know how it's gonna taste. Costs nothing to make. I think I paid a dollar for this broccoli cheddar cheese mix. The bagel cost a dollar and some change. I think the most expensive thing on my plate here uh, is, is the, uh, the sprouts. Those were, how much did I pay for the sprouts? I think they were three or four dollars for that container. So really, I have a dinner here that cost about five or six dollars, okay? Didn't cost anything. And it's gonna be so yummy, so delicious. And what I could do is cut up a nice apple and have some apple slices with this. Okay, y'all, look at this. Oh, my tomato fell off. Hold on, y'all. Mm -mm 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 -mm. That is one good tomato. Y'all, look at that. Can y'all see that? Mmm, yum. Delicious. That's going to be my dinner, y'all. And I think what I'm going to do after I finish eating dinner is I'm going to try to shamp finally shampoo my little area rug over there. I still haven't used that new portable uh, carpet steamer that I purchased from, where did I get it from? I think I got it from Sam's Club. But I'm going to go ahead and do that tonight and just hit a couple of spots on that area rug. Maybe do a load of laundry. And call it a night. It's just, it's just been just an awesome day, just a beautiful day. Uh, tomorrow is church, and then I don't know what I'm gonna do. I have so many things that I wanted to do today. I just didn't get them done. I lollygagged. I procrastinated, and nothing's done. So, anyway, here's to good eating. Here's to a beautiful. Bagel sandwich with broccoli and, and uh, cheddar cheese. Yum, yum, yum. To the yum, to the yummy. That's good eating right there. I will talk to y'all later. Y'all have a good rest of your evening, rest of your day. Peace out. Bye-bye. Ha, ha, ha.